Hello guys, so how are you? In this video, I'm gonna show you that how to install new iOS 12 in your iPhone, iPad or iPod. But before starting this tutorial, like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you will never miss any updates iOS 12 is not yet released officially, but we can always install the beta version to test it. So as you can see it's 11.4 version in my iPhone 7. Now I will install iOS 12 into this phone to experience the new features. Now open Safari and go to beta.apple.com. Let me tell you that it is only compatible with 64-bit devices if you are trying to install it on iPhone 5 so you are unlucky. Now tap on the sign in button and log in with your Apple ID to access the beta program. It may ask you for a code if you had turned on two-factor authentication in your Apple ID. If you have iPhone 6, so please don't install iOS 12 in it because it's working very slow on iPhone 6, but it's too good on iPhone 6s and above. Now here we have a little bit of introduction of iOS 12. We just need to find and tap on enroll your iOS device. Now here they are saying to create a backup of your data such as photos, contacts because sometimes the phone stuck on white apple screen while upgrading your phone. But don't worry this will not gonna happen if you follow my video. Now just tap on download profile button to install the beta profile into your phone to get the beta updates. So it requires a restart, let's do it. Before you put iOS 12 on a device, keep in mind that the beta is not finished and it still has bugs. So don't install it on a work device or one that has critical data on it. Instead, install it on a test device or older iPhone. Device wise, iOS 12 will work with all devices compatible with iOS 11. The following devices are compatible with iOS 12 such as iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 6S, 6S Plus, 6, 6 Plus, iPhone SE, iPhone 5s, iPad Air 2, iPad Air and you will find a full list in the description of this video. Now after installing a beta profile you will get a new feedback application and iOS 12 update in software update menu. So now we have iOS 12 public beta update and we also have a link to check the recent changes in the software and we have a download button. It will not download on cellular data so you will have to connect your device with the Wi-Fi. It takes 10 minutes to download so let's download it. Of course, iOS 12 is known for its new Memoji feature, but it also adds functionality for group FaceTime, Ringles notifications, additional battery usage information, and screen time limiting. Augmented reality will be a major part of the iOS software moving forward, with major updates also coming to Apple's AR kit and the launch of the US. DZ file format, faster app launches and faster swipes to the camera are also nice updates with this iOS release. Now it has downloaded successfully. The update requires at least 50% battery or to be connected to a power source. If your phone has 100% battery, I still recommend you to please connect it with the charger before updating. Now the installation is running. Testing the beta is important for developers who will be building applications on it and for IT professionals who have to ensure that their company software and processes will work on the latest iOS updates. Hmm, installation is complete. Press home to finish setting up iOS 12. Continue. Okay. 
here we have home screen of iOS 12. Let's see what's new in it. Nothing's here. The 3D touch is same. Let's see the control center. Nothing here. It's same. Everything is same. Let's go into the settings and let's see what we have. A new screen time option. Okay. That's nice. Now let's see. Sounds and haptics. It's all same. What is it? Yeah, yeah, it's old. Okay. So let's see another new feature. Control center is same. Let's see in the general. Ah, so you can see iOS 12. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like this video and you have installed the iOS 12 in your phone successfully after watching this video. 